Hello, my name is Michael Humphreys and I'm an optical engineer here at ZMAX. Today, I'm going to talk about improvements to the Code 5 to Optic Studio Converter. These improvements include several new commands that we have mapped, allowing you to more effectively translate Code 5 sequential files to Optic Studio ZMX files. Some of these commands are a private glass catalog, Q-type A-sphere, and rectangular apertures. In order to use the Code 5 to Optic Studio Converter, we'd want to open up a new sequential file, go to File tab, click on Convert File Formats, and then select Convert Code 5 to Optic Studio. Once you click on this, you will now have a new dialog box that asks you to browse to your sequential file. Simply click OK. The converter will loop through your file. It will parse out every line in the file. And then it will go through a mapping for each of the three letter commands that it finds in the sequential file. Something to note that if there is a command that is not currently mapped yet, you will end up seeing this three lines stating what line in the file that it is and that there's no mapping for that given command. In order to see a list of the commands that are currently available, you can go to the programming tab, click on edit slash run, find the code 5 to Optic Studio Converter, and click on edit. This will now open up the actual converter that's written in our ZPL macro language. Here you can see what version the converter is on, when the last date that it was updated, and then a list of all of the supported commands that are going to be available to the Code 5 to Optic Studio Converter. If your command is not listed here, you can email support at zmax.com with your sequential file and the command that you're trying to map. From here, the engineers can pass your request onto the development team, and we can work on integrating this into a future release of Optic Studio. Thank you.